head to our website. We'll be right back. Coming up next, when contains graphic images that may be disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. We've shared a lot of our own staff members tell stories on the show, and we're about to do it again. Why? Because as much as they do their best to try and get you the best medical advice, sometimes our staff needs a little help themselves. One of our associate producers, Jay Tan, is in our procedure room with Dr. Orden, along with board-certified plastic and hand surgeon, Dr. Michael Zarabi. And uh, Jay Tan, tell us what's been going on. Well, I got what I think was called a Bible bump on my hand. Um, it was like just a ball, kind of circular, kind of fluffy. How long have you had it? I had it for about a month, and today it actually kind of went down a little bit, but it still feels like a little gooey inside. This is actually uh, a ganglion cyst, and ganglion cysts are the most common bumps that we see in the hand. They used to be called Bible bumps because the treatment in the day was you would take a, the biggest book you had and you would smash the wrist with it. And of course, back then, the biggest book people had in their homes was usually the, the good Bible. Uh, but now we know better than, so, to, uh, than right, to do that. So, Jatan, you, you have a choice today. You can let me hit it with a Bible, <laughs> or you can let Dr. Zarabi do it the right way. And I guess in this case, you're planning to do an aspiration. So we uh, had a chance to numb you already just yes. a, a few minutes ago. Uh, so I'm going to use a, a large needle and where it's numb and we're going to... And, you know, interesting enough, these cysts, they, they are derived from joint something? spaces or, or tendons. They're filled with what we call synovial fluid, which is a little bit like motor oil for our our joints and our tendon sheaths so that they can glide and move uh, friction free did you get some there doc yeah, there's a, I think a little bit came out it might have just ruptured as I as I went in yeah unfortunately we didn't get a lot of the fluid out in instances like this if you stick a needle in it it ruptures or they spontaneously rupture do they are they less likely to come back? How does that work? With the aspiration, there's about a 30 to 50% chance that it will come back. But because it's such a simple procedure, we're willing to do that several times before committing a patient to having an operation. Um, sometimes what we'll do is actually advance the needle back and forth a number of times, basically trying to pop the balloon uh, gotcha. and make a lot of holes in it and hope that it doesn't, it doesn't recur. But, you know, I mean, it's flat now. Yeah, it definitely went down. I think when I went in, it, it, uh, it just punctured, sort of deflated, deflated the cyst. And so what we'll do usually is to uh, put a, a small compression dressing on and then have uh, Jaton wear a splint for a couple of weeks, and I think that helps reduce the chance of it coming back. Jaton, thank you for sharing your, your Bible bump with us. <laughs> And Dr. Zarabi, thank you for coming to join us and helping out. We'll be right back.